Um, so once again, I'm very happy to welcome everyone this afternoon for this talk on energy security, India's priorities and concerns. For this talk, we have with us today Dr. Nagesh Kumar Ojha, who is a junior fellow at Prime Minister's Museum and Library currently. Um, he is working here on India's energy security, the role of the neighborhood first policy. He has done his MPhil and PhD from Jawaharlal Nehru University and was awarded the senior fellowship by ICSSR in 2019. So I extend a very warm welcome to him. The topic of his lecture, Energy Security, India's Priorities and Concerns, uh, is a very focused uh, topic. I have just briefly discussed with him, and I'm sure that uh, he's going to uh, illuminate us about uh, this topic. Uh, there are three things I would like to say at this point. One is that energy security has become important basically in three phases if we look at the long durée of human history. The first, of course, was the pre-industrial revolution era when the energy intensity or energy consumption by virtually all human societies, especially the rural societies, was comparatively very, very low. And therefore, energy crises were also, by and large, localized crises whenever and wherever they occurred. And it was obviously the Industrial Revolution because it, want, it, it, it aimed at, uh, uh, it aimed at uh, uh, mechanized manufacturing of all kinds of uh, products, and therefore energy consumption started rising. Of course, coal was known, and it was used in some places even earlier, but the large-scale industrial use of uh, coals dug out from the coal mines uh, it starts with the Industrial Revolution, and then, of course, much later, we have various forms in which coal is converted, of course, electricity and uh, steam power and so on. And uh, then, of course, uh, oil, which uh, began to be used roughly from the late 19th century. And we see that it is uh, post-industrialization that for every country, energy security becomes a especially important concern. It is not a coincidence, therefore, that the most industrialized nation, the most economically advanced nation of the world, that is the United States of America, is the biggest consumer of energy in the world. So it has 4% of the total population of the world, but it consumes 25% of the total energy of the world. So this alone tells us a lot about from where this concern about energy security arises and why is it that certain societies consume far more energy, even per capita, than certain other societies. So this is one. Now, in the last few decades, another transformation has now taken place with the large-scale industrialization of what was earlier described as the third world. So, of course, the energy footprint of other countries is, is still not as large in terms of per capita as that of United States, but it is rising the world over. Especially in China, it has risen very, very fast. And of course, geostrategic concerns are never far removed from energy concerns. Because in this day and age, there is one fundamental uh, asymmetry or one fundamental observation that needs to be made about energy, and which is that most of the energy surplus countries of the world, they are located in certain regions. And most of the energy deficient in terms of their total consumption, they are located in another part of the world. It's not as if the countries that uh, are, uh, you know, large consumers of, for example, oil or coal, they are not themselves producers. Many of them are large producers also. US, of course, is among the largest. China is also among the largest. And yet their requirements are such they, that they still have to import a lot of uh, their energy. And we all know what happened to Japan during the Second World War because it was almost entirely dependent for its oil supply on the Middle East. And therefore, the naval blockade by the United States could disrupt those supplies. So ever since that time, one can say it was a kind of historical watershed that brought out to everybody in the strategic community around the world 
that energy security is one of the most important things that every nation state has to consider, has to ensure. So the, with these very few words, once again, I would like to uh, welcome Dr. Nagesh Ojha and request him to proceed with his lecture. Thank you, Dr. Mishra, for this kind introduction of the topic. Introduction of the topic. And first and foremost, I would like to say that this presentation is a part of a project, India's Energy Security, the role of neighborhood first policy. It is completely funded by this institution. Uh, first two, three minutes, I would like to focus on few terms, which is very important to understand the topic later on. It is said in academics that he who controls the definition controls the debate. Therefore, people either lays down the definition of energy security in their favor or not include others' point of view to safeguard their interests. It is also commonly accepted that there is no uniform definition of energy security as this concept means different things to different individuals and nations. It is based on their state of development, geographical location, their natural endowments, political system, and international relations. So before diving into the complex debate in simple language, it is important to underline few basics. Therefore, let me first introduce a complex subject in simple terms, step by step. The first question comes to my mind that, what is energy? The simple answer is, it is the ability to do work. It means, if the ability is compromised, the work may get affected accordingly. <clears throat> Therefore, it is essential to adopt and apply various measures to secure the innate strength of that ability. In effect, these measures may provide security to the proficiency while ensuring that ability to do work. In this way, the efficiency may remain secure, protected, and effective. So to put it simply, managing the safety of the ability to do work is energy security. And in more simple terms, providing safeguards to that ability is energy security. However, it gives only an abstract understanding of the subject. Consequently, it necessitates a tangible picture of understanding vis-a-vis -vis energy security. In this context, Again, the question arises, what is energy in the energy security? In this context, to understand energy by all means, it is a commodity that may be strategic in nature, but available in an open market for trade. It has apparently been perceived, designated and acknowledged by an individual or a state as a crucial commodity. However, it is accessible and traded frequently in an open market. It is not beyond the influencing factors of a changing market. Along with demand and supply, there are many influencing factors, though some are specific components to the energy trade because of its strategic nature. Similarly, there are some definite risks associated with the energy trade. Its state may be different, but it is not beyond the trade practices among producers and consumers. Since the strategic growth and development-oriented trading value, it is more significant than many other trades and supplies. Accordingly, factors associated with the energy trade are more significant than many others. In this way, again the question arises that what is the tangible energy security? To answer this question, 
this project defines energy security as an ensured demand and supply of fuels to perform safely. It includes both demand and supply security in light of various perspectives of energy security. The term safely includes, but is not limited to, the social and cultural as well as environmental sustainability. So this is the definition which this project is going to follow. As far as grand debate is concerned, just Yes, this presentation is fundamentally based on the tangible and conceptual priorities, concerns and understanding of energy security in the academic world as well as policy documents of various public and private institutions. It includes existing and potential energy security challenges in policy making. Our policy makers have also taken these aspects in their recent energy policy frameworks. Nowadays, energy security has become a buzzword and attracted national and international attention in general. The topic has become important to everyone because of the shifting lifestyles experienced across the world. Since the unprecedented oil crisis in 1973, national energy strategies have given primary attention to ensuring energy security. It is in general refers to ensuring a supply system that can fulfill the greatest level of demand in case of a vital supply failure and disruptions. It has its long-term and short-term connotations. The long-term energy security primarily focused on making timely investments to meet energy demands in accordance with economic and environmental considerations. While the short-term energy security is centered on the capability of the energy systems to promptly respond to unanticipated changes in the balance between energy supply and demand. However, different degrees of expense and willingness to pay are necessary to achieve different levels of energy security. Given the importance of probabilities in security, it is impossible to ensure 100% security. Therefore, the comparative aspect of energy security is very important in policy making. Though the relationship between energy usage and various aspects of life is contested, the quantitative design and methodology of current studies among various disciplines emphasize on the data-driven research. Therefore, it is indispensable and essential to follow the quantified data provided by the public and private institutions. Going through the historical evidences, it seems that any energy system transforms itself gradually and it may take sometimes several decades. However, various growing concerns such as climate change and to achieve the basic energy requirement goals in developing economies like India compel us to speed up the pace of developing new energy systems. The growing concerns of local as well as global energy structures are focused on ensuring energy security to all. However, India and various other developing nations are focused on promoting their economic growth that may reduce their poverty. And in this context, energy security is crucial to formulate any strategy to improve the standards in all walks of life. On the other hand, erratic and unstable prices in the global oil and gas market create problems vis-a-vis -vis fiscal adjustments and macroeconomic policies in India. Various countries, which are either heavily dependent on oil and gas imports or even major exporting nations, face serious challenges of price fluctuations. This heavy reliance on hydrocarbon imports or exports as a sizable source of state income or expenditure impacts the policy making in general. It creates budgetary problems 
and plays an effective role in fiscal adjustments. In a developing economic structure like India, macroeconomic and fiscal dangers can be intensified due to misplaced or misguided energy policies, such as political intention of subsidies to garner public support, poor governance, unscrupulous political and bureaucratic behavior, and above all, corrupt practices. It is true that energy is a crucial catalyst and an essential driver for general progress and economic growth that may alleviate poverty. But it is also true that careless use of these energy resources may become a root cause of environmental degradation. It deteriorates local air quality and pollutes water resources that ultimately contributes and even accelerates serious climate change. The detrimental impacts not only affect the health, but also the livelihoods of the poor. In this context, various developing nations are disproportionately exposed to serious impacts of the potential climate change. In fact, the anticipation of heightened climate variability in the region seems inevitable. The limited capacity of government resources to absorb these impacts has become a new challenge. The higher concentration of climate sensitive industries may aggravate the current worsening situation. Therefore, India's priorities and concerns have become a significant issue in the policy making frameworks. It is interesting that focusing on energy insecurity also paves the way to understand the concept. In this context, the insecurity has been defined as a lack of sufficient and affordable energy of the type and quantity necessary for healthy life. This understanding is based on socioeconomic characteristics and viewpoints of a specific individual or household. Normally, this approach sounds interesting, but it does not go too far when the concept is applied to the individual nation state or a region as a whole. It may be just one approach to understand the subject from the perspective of individual households and their experiences with energy security. However, it may be significant when we take domestic socio-economic issues into security considerations. Therefore, energy security does have a local component and accordingly, energy security from household perspectives requires that supplies of energy be regular, reliable, and of a standard quality that is uninterrupted and unadulterated. However, the global perspective is more important to make our priorities in various sectors. In this respect, different persons and institutions may have varying interpretations of the idea depending on their personal, institutional, national, or regional viewpoints. It means that the concept may be understood and explained based on the context in which it is implied. Despite the fact that academicians from a variety of related fields have spent decades trying to construct and describe energy security in its relevant universal context, the phrase first appears in its conceptual framework in academic literature in the 1960s. It attracted a lot of interest as a research issue after the oil crisis. Energy security had gradually become a popular topic of conversation among the more educated and woke members of society. It is also noteworthy that individuals were fully aware of the connections between energy resources, especially of oil and gas, security issues, and decision-making of the foreign policy. Even after five decades of oil crisis, <coughs> The current scenario of energy requirements show that oil is expected to be a significant component of the primary energy sources in the near future. Therefore, oil supply acquisition is a major concern for energy security policy making in India. On the other hand, studies show that even if we have a good acquisition policy and the population has the access to avail good energy sources, the issue of price becomes significant. In fact, 
if the prices are either excessively high or go beyond the reach, it may create grounds for the unemployment, inflation, foreign trade deficit, and economic recession. In this context, other than these bigger issues, the demand and supply gaps, poor purchasing power of the public in general, and high prices may result in various illegal efforts to access and stealing of energy resources such as electricity. This situation usually encourages and sometimes pushes to build unauthorized and illegal distribution networks, particularly in places where a legal energy service provider is absent. This social component as well as challenge is important to underline when we discuss the energy security and its ramifications. However, when discussing the energy security at large, the demand requirements and supply of a country or region are often taken into consideration. It means on a larger scale, when the discussion on energy security involves the entire country or more than one country or the entire region having a group of countries, it requires some additional components to examine the concept. These components may be the political structure and system of the individual state, its financial compulsions and constraints, the geographical location and geopolitical considerations, production and consumption potential and capabilities, available, available technological options and advancements, and above all, the current market dynamics for that country or region. It is evident that all these aspects are important in respect of India's energy security. The wide range of metrics shows that society, politics, economics, technology, environment, and other walks of life are intertwined with one issue that is energy security. This gives an apparent impression that energy security is a complicated and contested concept. This is the reason why this complicated idea occasionally functions in policy matters more as a theoretical notion than a straightforward simple term. When we talk about India's energy priorities and concerns, the complexities arise from the global energy difficulties and available alternatives. It has remained the significant intellectual and policy-making concerns for the last five decades. As a result, it is important to look at the global energy market and the potential effects of energy-related issues on India's economy and the environment in general. In fact, each concerned party, whether it be an oil-producing or oil-importing country, faces different energy security issues. This variation compels to divide the idea of energy security into two parts. First, in security of supply and then security of demand, respectively. If we analyze the majority of works in focus, the energy security researches are mostly based on the politico-economic framework. It is dominated by the supply security concerns of consuming nations. Interestingly, the supply remained the dominant factor of research and definition throughout the second half of the last century. The policy makers or energy researchers both had their major focus on a reliable, affordable and diversified sources of energy supply to the end user. This approach has strengthened the idea of supply security in general discussion. Slowly, the supply security has been taken as a synonym of energy security. Even in various conceptual researches and debates, the demand side of security was completely absent. In fact, the conventional methodologies of energy security researches choose a limited number of variables that made investigation parsimonious. The economy and geopolitics remain dominant variables for a long time. However, new researchers felt a pressure and urge to incorporate new dimensions, approaches, and variables to make energy security researches more comprehensive. The new approach and required compulsions have driven the energy security researchers from conventional parsimonious way 
to a multidisciplinary area of study. Investigations evolved from univariate to bivariate to multivariate analysis structure. Anthropogenic considerations made the examination more complex and useful vis-a-vis -vis climate change. Thus, along with climate change, the unpredictable potential supply, uh, supplies of fossil fuels and globalization have become major factors to drive the positive transformations in the study and understanding of energy security. In the same way, other dimensions and study components have been added to explore new ways to understand this concept. The new components such as energy efficiency, reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, question of accessibility, sustainability, and getting energy services in various conditions at affordable prices have become significant tools to first reduce and then remove ener energy poverty. Therefore, in this way, issues related to the environment, society, politics, and of course security have turned into required and sometimes indispensable components of the energy security. Understanding the multidimensional character of the concept has become the fundamental requirement of India's energy security. It has compelled the new investigations to conduct the cross-sectional studies of various viewpoints to redefine the concept. <clears throat> as far as priorities and concerns of various viewpoints are concerned, it is crucial to integrate more components regarding the national energy security. The understanding and significance of this term differs among countries and stakeholders. Their perspectives will continue to change as the transition progresses. Traditionally, energy security primarily revolved around the oil. However, now most of the stakeholders have embraced a more logical and comprehensive understanding to incorporate the expanding decentralization, electrification, decarbonization, and digitalization of critical energy systems. Consequently, the changing understanding of energy security necessitates a corresponding adjustments in the definition as well. Depending on factors like age, level of schooling, gender and culture, the understanding of energy security may vary. Therefore, the concept of cultures within the energy sector may be a useful idea to understand different perceptions of the subject. This multidimensional approach to define and comprehending the notion demonstrates how individuals from various fields interpret energy security by prioritizing their preferences. It is also important to understand various changing trends in energy security perspectives. As far as the concept in itself is concerned, it is changing and will continue to evolve along with progressive and constant energy transition. Similarly, there is a classic approach to evaluate energy security, which India also focuses and rely on, known as four capital A's. It emphasizes four significant components, such as availability, accessibility, affordability, and acceptability. Though this approach has its own limitations and requires a more comprehensive definitional approach, India supports the approach up to large extent due to its priorities and concerns. The physical, economic, and environmental concerns of these four components are important factors in the India's energy policy making. In fact, these four priority, in fact, these four prioritized components are in sync with the spirit of the most accepted definition of energy security in the academic world as well. However, our concerns depend on the basic understanding of these terms. Therefore, on the basis of primary energy resources and their ability to exploit positively, the term availability refers to the physical existence of fossil fuels and oil in particular. Affordability pertains to the acquiring energy resources and it should be secured at competitive or reasonable prices. The acceptability refers 
to the production and use of energy resources in respect of environmental impacts on or concerns of economy. The accessibility is understood in terms of geopolitical factors and transportation links that decide the feasibility of energy resource supply chains that is, in, that is an important building block of energy security. However, one additional performance indicator as the developability of the energy security has been highlighted by a new research conducted in respect of energy sustainability. Interestingly, India's policymakers have taken this aspect seriously in their recent policy making frameworks. In fact, sustainability evaluation of the energy systems has now become an important concern to realize the energy security, especially among the localized systems. In this respect, one study focuses on growth that is linked with energy. In other words, it emphasizes the importance of the development potential of the energy security as a key performance indicator of energy sustainability. In view of that, developability refers to the capacity of an energy system to achieve sustainable development in a clean, low carbon and optimized manner. It is argued that this added comprehensive approach may help and support the design of a more sustainable and efficient energy policy. It may better capture the interconnected and intricate nature of energy security as well. Understanding the concept of energy security more comprehensively may provide some insights to comprehend the pace and direction of developmental works in a complex society like India. Various studies show that there is a strong relation between energy security and economic development. One such study investigated <coughs> the links between energy security and economic growth in 2019. A sample of 74 nations were taken to study the linkage of these two subjects. The role of availability, accessibility, acceptability, affordability and the additional component that is developability were evaluated to understand this relation. The study concluded that the energy insecurity adversely affects the economic growth. However, like many other studies and approaches, this method also largely highlights the supply side of the energy security. <clears throat> it ignores many crucial factors such as resilience of energy systems, variety of energy resources, and above all, the impacts on society which occurs in the process of energy production and consumption. In fact, due to the interconnected and intrinsic structural complexities of energy security, the current available and most prevailing frameworks are insufficient for the energy policy making. Therefore, a more integrated, enlarged and thorough approach is certainly required. In this context, India's concerns and approaches can be understood through a more comprehensive framework where seven aspects of energy security have been taken into consideration. This approach focuses along with three A's, availability, affordability and accessibility, on the reliability, first, quality, second, resilience, and sustainability. Furthering the understanding, it is essential to focus on acceptability and quality criterion. In fact, these components are necessary to address some environmental and social challenges in a diverse country like India. In this regard, the Asia-Pacific Energy Research Center focuses on some energy security indicators while writing that Concerns over the acceptability of sources used to meet demand, specifically in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, has increased over the past few decades. As a result, the potential for fuel switching towards a less carbon intensive fuel portfolio has grown in public appeal. Advancing the intellectual canvas to define the concept and understanding the priorities and concerns there is a definition which says 
that a condition in which a nation and all or most of its citizens and businesses have access to sufficient energy resources at reasonable prices for the foreseeable future. It should be free from serious risk of major disruption of services. Unfortunately, this definition also mainly focuses on the supply side. However, it helps our conventional understanding of energy security. Furthermore, as far as the political masters in consuming nations like India are concerned, they typically have a simple understanding of an ideal energy pricing than the complex realities of the market. In that respect, they try to emphasize on the phrase that is the lower the better attitude. In this context, the ratio of energy supply to demand and the crisis capability index are important to measure the energy security. The crisis capability index gauges a nation's capacity to handle and lessen the effects of short-term power outages. On the other hand, as far as negative externalities of demand and supply are concerned, there are two main issues associated with energy security. The first is related to the oil imports, which is certainly a big concern for India's supply chain. In fact, exporting operations market clout might cause market failures and may have adverse impacts on oil imports. However, the price volatil volatility is the second important issue, which is again a big concern for India's energy security. It may have serious economic repercussions, especially if the market adjustment is gradual and the factors related to the product markets are not resilient enough to recover rapidly. It may create socio-political unrest in a country like India. As, all, as we all know, that energy has become a crucial resource to build and maintain a modern society. It provides the basic underpinning pillars to the structural framework of a country. It is closely linked with the working from individual to institutions. That is why this indispensable requirement has made the issue of energy security as the high security and a prioritized subject in policy making. It may affect everything from residential to industrial or from commercial to transport sectors. Every sector has become a point of study vis-a-vis -vis energy security. Due to this significance, a number of public and private institutions such as Energy Information Administration and British Petroleum have been involved in analyzing the total or total percentage of use of energy by various sectors vis-a-vis -vis combined global use of energy resources. It is important because constant power supply depends on reliable and steady sources of energy. It is required to run the modern electronic gadgets, transport commodities, commute people, home cooling or heating, or in nutshell, to run these industries to achieve targets or to execute their assigned particular task. Any disruption may cause a huge loss and may upset the whole socio-political and economic environment. It may create an anarchic situation to disrupt the whole structural settings. Furthermore, there could be various reasons to energy supply interruptions, such as poor management, operational failures, extreme weather conditions, sabotage, or maybe some unknown or unpredicted happening. However, there could be some more persistent grounds to interruptions, such as infrastructural challenges, financial difficulties, or maybe political face-offs. All these are serious concerns in the India's energy security policy making. In fact, this all-encompassing issue has compelled the decision makers and researchers to adopt a change approach, perspective, and methodology vis-a-vis -vis changing study scenarios in the energy sector. In addition, the idea of ensuring a secured supply of energy resources has got more attention and currency in the recent debates of energy security in general. 
It shows a new interest and required significance of new supply chains. In this respect, it is important to note that various regional and international organizations have focused on newly evolved components of energy security. For example, the European Commission has made energy security as it's one of the top priority objectives regarding energy legislation. The Commission has registered energy sustainability and efficiency in its priority list. Similarly, India's new energy policy framework documents have also been focusing on these concerns. Furthering their concerns, the supply security, competitiveness, sustainability or climate change have frequently remained vital objectives of the energy policies. In this context, the supply security targets to minimize the overall reliance on erratic supply of energy resources. It focuses not only on severe concerns of external energy policies, but also underlines the required internal and domestic market rules. It especially highlights the focused concerns related to oil and natural gas supply chains. In this context, the energy infrastructure has become crucial cause of concern and focus of supply security. The competitiveness represents the target to develop interconnected, integrated, and competitive power supply and natural gas market. And finally, the sustainability or climate goals are intended in general to utilize more and more renewable energy resources to reduce energy consumption in terms of quantity. It is believed that this will ultimately reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases to make safe environment. Similarly, India focuses on a good approach developed by the World Energy Council. It has produced a triangular model to develop a good energy system that is known as World Energy Trilemma. It opinions that this system would prioritize energy equity, environmental sustainability, and energy security. It is also expected that following this strategic framework is likely to yield high performance in respect of energy security. Accordingly, the balancing of these three goals may enable prosperity and competitiveness in various economies. All these components have been taken in a definitional understanding. In that definitional meaning, the energy security reflects a nation's capacity to meet current and future energy demand reliably, withstand and bounce back swiftly from system shocks with minimal disruption to supplies. The second component, energy equity, evaluates a country's ability to provide universal access to affordable, fairly priced, and abundant energy for domestic and commercial use. The third matrix, namely environmental sustainability of energy systems, represents the transition of a country's energy system towards mitigating and avoiding potential environmental harm and impacts of climate change. On the basis of these three variables, a country in country context has been decided. It focuses on the elements that enable countries to effectively develop and implement energy policy and achieve energy goals. India has seriously prioritized these goals in its present endeavors to achieve its national energy security. Similarly, the Indian stand regarding its priorities and concerns is in sync with the European Commission's definition of energy security. Accordingly, to the according to the Commission's document, energy security refers to the continuous physical availability of energy products on the market at prices that are affordable for all consumers, including private and industrial one, while also taking environmental concerns and promoting sustainable developments as a priority consideration. Furthermore, the International Energy Agency defines the energy security as uninterrupted availability of energy resources at an affordable price. It reflects energy security in terms of reliable as well as affordable access to all fuels 
and energy sources. Though this definition again primarily focuses on supply side of energy resources, it is in favor of India's stand vis-a-vis -vis energy security. It is not surprising that this agency per se was developed to ensure a secure and affordable energy supplies. Its objectives reflect some insights on the practical aspects of energy security. It focuses on current and future risk for oil supply disruptions, emerging gas security challenges, and increasing system flexibility and resilience of the electricity sector. Interestingly, all these factors are India's major concerns vis-a-vis -vis energy security frameworks. Furthermore, the energy transition and the growth of cyber criminality have expanded the scope of what constitutes the energy security. The decarbonization, a sharp increase in fluctuating renewable energy sources, and digitalization have raised the risk of cyber attacks. These developments drive the power industry to make substantial changes. It is certainly a major concern for energy policy making in India. In this respect, as far as energy in terms of electricity security is concerned, a worldwide major structural change is taking place in the electricity generation. Globally, the way power is produced is changing significantly as a result of the transition to renewable energy. Due to lower cost and supportive governmental policies, the usage of renewable energy sources that are certainly subject to change has significantly expanded during the past 10 years. In keeping with initiatives to counter climate change, it is anticipated that this trend would persist and it may be quicker and speedy as well. However, the decentralized structure of many renewable energy sources renders them susceptible to cyber attacks, even though the correct policies can guarantee a dependable electricity supply during the transition. So, after having this background, now it may be understandable that energy security is a multi-layered subject, but the analysis makes it simple and clear. However, it is also important to note that energy plays a significant role in the growth process. It has become an indispensable component in the creation of all goods and services. In fact, this increased dependence has been noticed since the Industrial Revolution, where its researchers also show the intimate links between labor and capital in various sectors. This economic link raises some serious concerns of energy uh, supply and demand. The potential supply shortfall is a cause of concern because a limited number of nations dominate the production of some minerals and metals that are essential for clean energy technology. And of course, this constitutes a major component of energy security. Governments, businesses, and other important players must immediately improve their market structures, laws, and policies in order to address these issues and ensure the security of power supply. As far as risk factors vis-a-vis -vis energy security are concerned, there are a number of risk factors to clarify some of misunderstanding around the definition of energy security. These factors apparently focus on physical risk and may be divided into short and long-term disruptions. The short-term disruptions brought on by geopolitical unrest or natural calamities, while the long-term disruptions brought on by the cessation of energy production or the depletion of energy resources. Unfortunately, both, India's, both are ma uh, India's major concerns for the energy policy making. So I should stop here. OK. Uh, uh, just uh, two, three lines. Actually, this has further included uh, socio-economic, environmental, and governing issues in terms of regulate, uh, regulatory risk. The World Economic Forum has taken energy prices shocks as a serious risk phenomena among other global risks. India is certainly a soft target 
regarding this issue of energy security. So, I should stop. Thank you then. Uh, this has been a wonderful afternoon and uh, it was, as I said, a very informative, comprehensive uh, 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 lecture and of course, a very enthusiastic participation. I thank everybody for their participation. This is a very important topic uh, for the world uh, in terms of, of course, uh, the growing population of the world and uh, industrialization, etc. But also because of uh, environmental degradation and climate change, which is an issue that he has raised. Uh, so I invite everyone for a cup of tea outside the seminar hall. We'll carry on the discussion. Thank you. Thank you.